What is up, YouTubers? John Z here, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament. Now, this is the in-between season, so um, in any of these tournaments, whoever wins does not count for the final tournament because that's going to be only for different seasons. So this is just in-between. Whoever wins is just going to take this victory and go home for a while because they're never... I mean, no one's going to really get to the champion's bracket in these little tournaments, but, you know, I thought we introduced some of the new characters that, um wanted to come in. Um, in fact, one of these are actually one of the ones that came in last season, pretty late, but wants to make another debut of it because there's also someone else in this tournament who um, is also here. So anyways, uh, we're starting off with Vincent. As you guys know, Vincent is on Alfred's channel who has fallen, but this is one from a different timeline, the one who's actually beaten the uh, Dark uh, Captain Falcon, so he's He's come to this timeline to, um, you know, challenge some guys and, uh, become champion or whatever. And, uh, not far behind, Dark Vincent came as well, and, uh, he, he's determined to take over the Dark World, too. In fact, Dark's, uh, was the one who invited him to come here, so that's also why Vincent's here. I had to call him up and, uh, make sure that Dark Vince stays put, and... If anything, Vince brought some friends that have been introduced in a recent um, CPU uh, tournament. Um, apparently this new person, which is called the Agent, so the Agent's going to be here to help us out, and Tony, who has apparently been um, new to this uh, generation, I guess, so, um, well, has been, well, technically it's been in a few years or whatever, so he's in as well. So Vincent brought in them. He also brought another friend as well, but we'll get to him later. But in the fifth spot, um, this is who, this is who uh, Darks uh, also brought in. Dark to War, the dark version of Hunter. So um, yeah, uh, he uh, wants to be in these uh, final tournaments as well. Well, he wants to make sure the world is full of darkness, but of course to stop him, we have Hunter Toward, who has actually made it in the, um, he's made it in Season 2 last year. Pretty late into the series, though, so that's why he's here today, you know, at least, for one, to beat Dark Toward, and, um, you know, uh, show his face a little more, because he didn't really get that much of a chance after, um, he won his, uh, champion, uh, like, the tournament the first time, and only got to do two matches in the final tournament. And of course, the final two who will be entering uh, next year as well, or this next uh, season, we have Peak Convict that um, we that Vincent decided to bring along because you know why not? But that's also because um, even though he wasn't from the Dark World, uh, Dark Vincent broke Toy Convict out of prison to join him. So we have a lot of uh, well, we mostly have three villains here today, but you know that's all said and done. But with that being said, let's get into this tournament. So, also this tournament is a three-stock, four-minute battle, and that's practically it. There are no, uh, there's no stage wars, there's no final smash meter, there's no assists, there's nothing. It's just plain old battling on a random stage. And of course, this is how the layout's going to start off. So, without further ado, let's uh, get into this um, tournament, shall we? Of course, like I said, this is not going to enter for the final tournament for next season, obviously, because this is just an in-between uh, series. You know, fun little tournaments to do in-between to see to have for some to practice. I mean, <laughs> first up, we have Vincent and Dark Vince, so um, this shall be interesting. So Vincent came here to help us in our hour of need. Which is pretty interesting, and I was surprised that last season, um, like in season two, that Yoshi was the main winner, and he's in the champions bracket, so he will not be entering the next season, unfortunately. But you know, he's good. It's cool that he's in the champions bracket as well. Like I thought that was pretty amazing. So you know. But anyways, uh, Dark Vince doing a really good job on handling Vince. Ooh, that's not very good for our, our light team. Gonna need uh, all of Vince's help on this. Ooh. Vincent's definitely not doing a good job to start off. All the way here in uh, Duck Hunt Land. I don't know the names of the stages, I'm sorry. 
So yeah, all this is is just brute strength. And Vincent's already down a stock. Ooh, not looking good for him to start this off. Dark Vince is oh. Yeah, Dark Vince is uh doing pretty good for himself already. So um Vince might have to Vincent might have to put up his game for this. I mean, I guess, I guess he's just trying to make um maybe he's gonna throw this match because, you know, this isn't like the major matches. They, like some of these uh evil the evil side wants to like, you know, like show off and show how powerful they are. So maybe Vince might just uh Vincent might just throw the uh match for that. So I mean the world's not in risk right now. They're all just kinda showing their skills before the ultimate tournament, but you know. Ugh. It's definitely not looking good for Vincent, and he already lost another stock. Dark Vince is definitely hammering Vincent to the ground. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe maybe Vincent might still pull this around. Maybe he'll pull it off last minute. Ooh. Not easy, because Dark Vince has a gun, and Vincent doesn't. Ooh. No satisfaction for Vince at all. Oh, and Dark Vince. Three stocks. Vincent. So, uh, congratulations, Dark Vince. Uh, Vincent, you might have to up your game for the next season because, um... I mean, that looks so good for this next season if you lose to Dark Vince again. Because we, we want to have you make sure that the Dark Realm does not make it into the final tournament at all. So, you know, make sure you do that in the future tournaments. Uh, anyways, we're moving on to another Gunner and Brawler fight. We have the two uh, newcomers from, like, um, the CPU tournaments coming over to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate tournaments, which is the Ancient Antony. So let's see, uh, let's see what, um, Vincent's friends can do. Especially right up against each other. And here we are on Battlefield, taking it on right now. Oh, it's actually Big Battlefield, excuse me. And it looks like, uh, Tony was the first to take a hit. Normally the Gunners are normally, uh, the better in this situation, but we'll see if, um, Tony can still, uh, make this through. So one thing that their weakness is, is they can't shoot at all. They have really, like, no projectiles. Tony not- ooh, the agent. You know what's funny? In the CPU tournament that, um... In the CPU tournaments on Alfred's channel, um... Tony made it to the next round and not the agent. In this case, it looks like the agent might make it to the next round and not Tony. And they didn't even fight in the CPU tournament. They're testing their skills out right now. I just liked how the agent went with 0% and knocked out Tony's stock. Like, one of his stocks already. But it looks like Tony's finally doing some damage to the agent. Finally showing his true strength. Probably just wanted to see how uh, the agent rolled first. Obviously, because these two have never fought each other. They typically don't really know each other that much because they're uh, new friends, really. They only met Vincent, and the only reason they, they know each other now is because they met Vincent. So, you know. Still not looking good for Tony here. The agent seems to be doing a lot of work. Ooh. And Tony taking down a stock from the agent. Well, let's not forget, whoever wins this has to fight Dark Vince in the next round. I almost completely forgot about that. The agent's still doing pretty good. One more giant hit on Tony, and uh, his he's down to two stocks. Oh, can he even make it back? No, he can't. Tony not having a really good recovery there. He's already down to one stock. I feel like Tony's chances to win is to at least get the agent down to one stock and hope that the time runs out for final uh, for sudden death. That's all Tony can hope for in this uh, battle right now. Ooh. 
as you guys know, for the next uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, we've also got word that uh, Hero and, um, you know, Hero from Dragon Quest and uh, Banjo-Kazooie are going to be on their way, but, um, you know, we're going to have to wait on that, because Hero said he'd be here uh, sometime, uh, maybe before the end of this month, or July? Oh, and the Angel wins that fight. And then, of course, Banjo-Kazooie's coming in between September, October, or November. He's still not technically sure, but, you know. But anyways, the Ancient wins against Tony. Surprisingly, this is the first time we've ever seen the Ancient win on any channel. So, you know. Congratulations for you, the Ancient. She's, she's like the rookie of every, like, for both tournaments, really. Now, here we go. We're having another uh, face-off against one another. We have Dark Toward going against Hunter Toward. So we'll see how this match goes. They're both practically identical at this point. That's the one thing, like, uh, with Vince and Dark Vince, and they're the, one, they're the only light and dark characters in, this, uh, in these tournaments that are actually different. Oh, and Hunter Toward is making sure that Dark, uh, the Dark Toward is not getting a hit on. Trying to knock him off early so he can get that early stock lead. Let's not forget. Well, I mean, Hunter did. Hunter Toward did a very good job the first tournament he was ever in, and then he at least made it to like round two in the final tournament. And now he's facing a power that is very identical to him. So we'll see how he uh, does against this dark version of himself. Thing is, the um, Dark Toward might be a might do a little more uh, dirty stuff, like you know, fight dirty like that. <laughs> oh, but Hunter Toward making it back on stage. Any big hit by now? Oh, that could could have knocked Hunter Toward out of the mat, out of the rain, and it. Hunter Toward is now down to two stocks. Ooh. Oh god. Hunter to war oh man. He's be he's he just has no respect. Dark to war has no respect for Hunter. But at least Hunter was able to give up a stock, not like how Dark Vince was to Vincent. But this is bad. Dark to war has a full stock advantage. We thought Vincent or we thought um Hunter oh and Hunter's I thought Dark Toward was leading um, Hunter Toward into a trap with the laser, but it looks like his trap was on him. Ooh, they're both using their counters, trying to use them anyways. Still, Dark Toward having a full stock advantage. Oh, and the arm went for Hunter. I don't know why him, because he's at a disadvantage. It should have really went for Dark Toward. Make it a little fair. I guess the... I guess the ship just wants the battle to be done with, you know? Here comes the cannon. Oh, God. Man, we have not seen a very close match at all this tournament. Everyone's been at least two stocking or three stocking everybody. Every like, ah. so another dark realm is moving on to the next round. Ooh. Our only hope to s stop three of them moving on is uh, P Convict going against Toy Convict. We're our last hope for uh, this little tournament. Luckily, it's not the fate of the world, but we gotta make sure our light team, the hero team, is all good. Now what I've heard is that um, Dark Vince, after he like he knew Dark Toward and him were not going to be enough to help out uh, Dark Zot in this, so he had to he had to go into this room early and break someone out of prison. Of course, that was Toy Convict. Oh, and Toy Convict already losing a stock, already doing good for Pete Convict. Oh, and now we're just playing on a tiny stage at this point. Let's also just add the fact that um, P Convict is the only sword fighter in this entire rap in this entire match. Ooh, 
cool. Pretty interesting. Oh, Peak Convict is almost down uh, another stock. Oh, and Peak Convict, right near the edge, making Toy Convict lose at least another stock. Oh, Peak Convict is still alive. Can Peak Convict get a three stock in this? I highly doubt it because its damage is very high already. Oh, ooh. I mean, unless Toy Con uh, um, Toy Convict messes up again, he wants to go back to jail. Oh, and P Convict just three stocks. You know, if anything, I feel like it's gonna be P Convict going up against um, Dark Fins in this. So congratulations, P Convict, for winning that match. Toy Convict, you do not belong here. I'm telling you this now. Alright, so we have two heroes and two villains going into the next round. And, uh, oh boy, we're gonna have a doozy here as we have Dark Vince going against the Agent. Can the rookie defeat one of the Lords of Darkness? We'll see right here, right now. And the thing is, uh, the one thing that both these guys both uh, competitors here had the advantage of last time was that the other did not have a projectile this time they both do so we'll see how this does but let's not forget Dark Vince is a low is like a lord of darkness so we'll have to see how this goes but already Dark Vince seems to be doing a pretty good job it's definitely not good yeah if anything the agent's definitely doing a worse job than last time, for sure. Dark Vince just has no respect for the rookie. The rookie for CPU and the star- Oh! But, uh, surprise there that the agent took the first stock away from Dark Vince. But can she get a hit in before she herself loses a stock? And that is a yes, folks. I swear to God, some things happen before I even have the chance to say it. Or at least diff new st stuff. Blech. I mean, the Angel may not be good at the CPU tournaments, but I feel like in the in the Ultimate tournament, she might be doing some. She might be doing pretty good. I'm just saying. Ooh. But now the age is now down to two stocks, and Dark Vince is actually close to death himself. Ooh, that was a good hit for the agent right there. Ooh, Dark Vince trying to trying to make sure he catches up, but he's now down to his last stock. I feel like for Dark Vince to win this, he would have to knock out another stock here. Oh, actually, maybe just the two stocks already because the agent's taking a lot of damage right now. It seems to be like a pattern going on here with the grenades. The agent's still trying to hang in there. Yeah, like I said, I think Dark Vince needs to take out one more stock and try to survive to sudden death. Ooh. Can the agent still do it with a minute left? Oh, but the agent's now down to one stock. She has to kill Vin Dark Vince now or else Sudden Death might decide. Ooh, with, 50, with 55 seconds left on the clock. Dark Vince just has to survive and he might win this. 45 seconds left on the clock. 
And like that, the Ancient beats Dark Fins. Wow. What a surprise there. The Ancient doing a lot better in the... The AJ, I think you went to the wrong person. I, th I think you should have came to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournaments because you are killing it right now. Beat in Tony and Dark Vince. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty good uh, job right there. And already she's already in the finals. But who shall we face? A friend or foe? Because right now that friend or foe are facing off. We have Dark Toward going against P Convict. So we'll see how we go how this goes. I mean P Convict did three star toy convict. So we will see how things go. But we gotta remember, um a Toward won a whole tournament before, so we shouldn't really underestimate his. And I see that uh P Convict also copied one of my strats, knock an opponent into the air and then doing the up B move. A good strat if anything. But it looks like uh, P Convict is uh, getting a lot of damage on himself, so that's not, that's not really good. Now they're just fighting over the ledge. Oh, I think of anything with the the stairs coming in. That's a huge advantage for Dark to Ward, because for brawlers they do not have the best recovery, so. Luckily, in this case, the stairs are the uh, good defense for them. Unfortunately, we do not want the darkness to win. And fight over the ledge again, boys. Come on. Ooh. Dark to War was about to use that kick of his. I mean, who knows how this tournament can go? I mean, Pete Convict already lost his stock now. I was about to say, because so far... Oh, they're both tied. But I was about to say, because in the last round, uh, we've had Dark Vince, who three-stocked, which um, the Agent did not. But the Agent still won that round. And this is kind of the same situation now with um, Dark Toward and P Convict. P Convict three-stocked someone, but Dark Toward did not. So I'm wondering if P Convict can still do this, or maybe it's just going to go in that order again, where the person who didn't restock will win. Oh, he was about to do his kick again. They are both really evenly matched. I mean, the thing is, they're both from the different universes, technically. Different franchises and stuff. Oh, and the stairs blocked Dark Toward from coming back. And now he's now down to one stock. This might be P Convict's game, and we might be able to still beat. Because if we have two heroes that are able to beat Lords of Darkness, then I think we have a shot on making sure they don't win the final tournaments in the future uh, seasons. And P Convict almost ready for death as well. Oh, thought that might have been it for Dark to Ward. A good hit for Pete Convict right there. Oh, and now Pete Convict now down to one stock left. Oh, playing dangerously near the end. They're both trying to use counters there. Oh, oh man, oh no. Is Pete Convict really gonna... Come on, Pete Convict. We need you to def defeat Darkness. We can't let Darkness take over. It's for the fate of our universe. Thirty seconds left. Ooh, that was a big counter on Dark Towards part. One big hit and it could be it. May not even go to time, but it's getting close to that. Dark Toward having a huge advantage, especially with the stairs popping in now. Ooh. And with five seconds left, P Convict destroys Dark Toward and stops Darkness from winning the side tournaments. So at least we know we have win 
we have heroes that are able to take on the Lords of Darkness and stop them from winning the ultimate tournament and taking over the world. So with that, um, we have the final match. Luckily, uh, it's one against friends. Luckily, because we have the agent going up against P. Convict. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And I gotta say, a lot of uh, me brawlers did not make it past this round. So luckily, um, it is a friendly battle between good friends. So we'd have nothing to worry about. These two have beaten Dark Vince and Dark Toward, so we know they can be beaten. Same with Dark Zub. So we've seen him be beaten by Peach and Sonic before. So we know that Dark, the Dark Realm will not take over us just yet. If anything, credit definitely goes to P Convict right now, because he's he was able to also take out Toy Convict. So you know. Here we have some uh, Mario Odyssey music I can hear. But let's see if the rookie can also uh, win this tournament as well. I mean, she's made it this far. Oh, and the agent already loses a stock. If anything, P Convict might be the one that. I'd be, I'd be pretty surprised if P Convict wins, like, his first turn like, actual tournament, and friggin' makes it, makes it into the champion's bracket, if anything, like, makes it into the final tournament and wins season three. That'd be pretty shocking. I mean, I, I mean, for season two, it was shocking when Yoshi won. So, you know, if anything, everything will probably surprise me at this point, on, like, who will win and who will lose. Ooh. Yeah, so right now the Agent's not doing so well right now. The Agent practically uh, at the same percentage as P Convict, but P Convict already still has a full stock advantage still. And with that, P, P Convict loses a stock. Oh, two minutes, anything can still happen. P Convict can still mess up somehow. You know, after last season, it's nice to, to see like these little battles now that don't have a lot of other characters on the field. It's nice because uh, it was crazy amount of characters last season for sure. For season two, I mean, you know. Damn. The Ancient surviving pretty long. Survived at 181. Oh, and the Ancient made P Convict tied. So, one stock with only like almost a minute left tied right now. Anyone could win this. We'll have to see with rule sets as well on how season three's rule sets will go because sometimes even with the uh, set of rules might have changed the factor. I mean, we saw a lot of different competitors in season two, and the agent beating P Convict. It looked like P Convict had that match, but it was actually the agent who won it. Wow! What a surprise! Congratulations, the agent. Uh, too bad it ain't an actual um, ultimate tournament because, hey, he would have made it into the final tournament right there. But, you know, bring those skills in for, like, future tournaments and, hey, you might make it in and you might even win the ultimate tournament for Season 3. But that's going to be it now. Um, you've seen some of the new characters. We're going to have at least one more for any new characters that will be coming in as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time.
god. Controls. Controls! Controls are right 